In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may now receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for our transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our past as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the land of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord, the Lord is, is close, close to, to the, the brokenhearted. Broken the Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The, the Lord, Lord is, is close, close to, to the, the brokenhearted. brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord is, is close, close to, to the brokenhearted. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And Luke is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. For the authorities have realized that he is the Christ. But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. 
I know him because I am from him and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Father Walter Chisek is or was an American Jesuit who worked in Russia at the height of the Cold War. And um, he was captured. He was accused by the Russian government of being a Vatican spy. And he was sent to prison. And according to his memoir, he suffered more than 20 years in prison. I think in the Siberian uh, salt mine, whatever they call it. One of the challenges he faced was, again as a priest, was the many questions he had personally. Why things were happening that way, why bad things were happening to good people, why God seemed to just allow the suffering of so many innocent people. And yet, as days and months and years went on, he realized that there was probably a reason for the sacrifices he was going through and how his faith was strengthened, not only his personal faith, but the faith of those around him. In the book, in one of his books, he said, you know, the prisoners, uh, Catholics uh, who were with him, they would wake up too early in the morning way before the rising bell so that they could come together and celebrate mass in prison it was dangerous because if they were caught it would have meant more punishments for them and yet this group of very devoted catholics would sacrifice early morning gather together celebrate mass and you know in a very cramped small place and they would distribute since they would not be accommodated obviously in a very small place the priest would consecrate more hosts and distribute them secretly to uh, all other catholics who would like to receive communion and he said that really kept him alive his faith that in spite of the challenges he faced in prison uh, tortures and everything he kept his faith in God alive, and God, God kept him alive. And I think this is very interesting. We are in a very difficult, challenging times. Um, one of the latest news about uh, this coronavirus is that priest um, in northern Italy who died, and he could have actually saved himself, apparently. He was um, given a ventilator, and he said, no, I am giving it up for somebody younger who still have the chance to survive, greater chance to survive than that I have. And so he gave him the chance of surviving in favor of someone who could have uh, survived. He died and we hope that whoever that younger person had the opportunity of using his ventilator is alive today. And I think this is exactly what uh, the gospel today says. Um, you know, there are always many challenges uh, and many reasons uh, not to do good. Uh, look at Christ. Um, many threats to his life, uh, to his family. And it would have been a good reason for him to say, that's it. I'm not doing anything anymore. I'll leave the people alone. If they don't want me, that's it. But he didn't. In spite of the challenges, uh, the difficulties that he went through, uh, the sufferings, physical, spiritual, psychological, mental, all of those types of uh, challenges that he went through. He did not stop. He did not stop doing good. And the gospel today says he was confronted by people. Are you not the one they are trying to kill? Christ said, exactly. He should have said, well, actually, I think I should start hiding. But he didn't. He continued doing good anyway. And this is the challenge for us. Uh, we're in a very um, difficult times. Um, some churches are closed and people probably are saying, uh, 
what good can I do if I am locked up in my house, in my room? Uh, there are still so many good things that we can do, even if we are locked up in our rooms, in our homes. Doing good means taking care of ourselves, taking care of our families. And I think when Pope Francis said, let us close the churches so that we will not spread the virus, that is one good thing that we can do. Not only to keep our faith alive, to do good things. And sometimes the very good thing that we do in this time of crisis is to keep ourselves away from others, to give us time to reflect. And hopefully when all of this would be over, we would emerge just like the Lord on Easter Sunday. After the pains, after the sufferings, we will all emerge victorious in the power of God. As we seek to draw nearer to God this land, we will bring our needs before Him, resting on the certainty of His strength and help. And let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, may God guide our Lenten practices and draw us more deeply into His love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those in positions of power, may they be given prudence and courage in serving those who are most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the poor and marginalized, may God look graciously upon them and provide for their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those gathered here, may God grant us strength and carrying out our Lenten practices faithfully and fruitfully. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed in perfect union with God and all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for Theresa Ann Thermulo and for the intentions of Gaspar Inqui and Judy Ballesteri from this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And we offer in the silence of our hearts all our intentions for those who ask for our prayers, those whom we promise to pray for. And we remember in a very special way those who are victims of this virus, those who died, those who are still ill, and their families, those who care for them, that God in his great mercy and kindness would embrace them with his mercy and providence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God of strength, we come before you in humility today, knowing you can give us all we need to celebrate this season worthily. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the Lord, you of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are the Lord, your full creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the divine work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever.
Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us of his mighty power and lead us to approach his source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, as we did our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullest of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to the co-heirs of eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form the divine teachings, we dare to say. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins with the faith of your church, 
I embrace like that have peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Greet each other at home with the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes of the sins of the world, bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are at home and who will not be able to partake of the body and blood of Christ, we will recite our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind, through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a beautiful day to you and to your families.